Lagos State has a new deep sea port on the way. And in the just concluded Ehing Beti conference slash summit, the Lagos State government announced the plans for a new deep sea port in Badagri, an area that people would mostly see has been forgotten by the government. And the Lagos State government said that it's going to sit on approximately 496 hectares of land and the deep sea port is going to be part of a larger free trade zone area and this larger free trade zone area sits on approximately 1104 hectares of land so it's almost half of the free trade zone and you know Badagri is also along the coast close to areas like Apapa so now Lagos has three deep sea ports and what's the import of this the FTZ zone the free trade zone comprises of the port zone the logistics zone the industrial zone and the power hub in this area and the port is set to produce about 250,000 jobs and generate about 53 billion dollars for the Lagos state government. The last month, Landway introduced their future city plan and the, the plan behind future city was that in 2050 and between 2050 to 2070 70 percent of the population is going to be living in cities and there's going to be so much urbanization and to that effect landway wants to build future cities and they had five locations they had makoko they had ibejileki they had ekpe they had but I agree as well. He has already moved and acquired land in this area before this has been announced. And Hitato, as well as Ikorodu, Ikorodu is the fifth destination that they want their future cities to be in. And I've, I was in Ikorodu about two months ago, and the only thing that's stopping Ikorodu from blossoming and blowing, in fact, somebody, a friend, a cousin of mine, had bought some land in Ikorodu. And if they can actually face government actually face these places the operators are going to be massive so what is that to you what does that mean to you it means that you need to focus on areas of government projects and anticipate before those developments come there and buy land and if you want to buy land in any of these locations one more inquiry airport is going toward the area you know it was one of the projects that was approved in the summit by the federal executive council so right now it's just for them to talk with the investors and start work immediately so there are awesome times for investment in lagos lagos is still an investment destination and there's a plan there's a 30-year plan from now till 2052 so 30 year plan yeah from now to 2052 so you can take advantage of it this is the only home the ngt we show we believe that owning a home owning a property should not make you lose sleep so we're committed to giving you the very best property recommendations in inside the real estate just i'll talk to you soon and i hope to hear from you bye bye hi my name is funke Beke. i am a real estate advisor with alara city last couple of years you must have heard about the expansion everything that's happening along the Lekki Ekwe corridor and I'm very certain you've heard about the deep sea port that was recently commissioned you've also heard about the Angote refinery and of course the international airport that is also along the Lekki Ekwe corridor and guess who else is actually located within the Lekki free zone it's Alaro city Alara City is a mixed-use development. It's a city-scale development located within the Lekki Free Zone. If you have heard about everything that is happening within that access, you know that the deep pockets, big players are going towards that area. And of course, you want to join the moving train. Now will be a fantastic time to take opportunity or take a position within Alara City. Call us today and we'll advise you on the different products that are available.